Butternut squash is nice and fork tender now, so we are going to add it into our blender with our milk. All right, so a tip on blending this, you're gonna want to add your milk and hopefully you have a lid on your blender that allows you to crack it a little bit. This one's nice because it has a little spout and so we're actually gonna put this lid on and we're gonna leave it cracked just a little bit so that that steam is able to be released because our hot butternut squash is gonna be mixing with this cold milk and so it might pressure things up. So I'm gonna turn this on, it might be a little bit loud. All right, so our two cups of milk is mixing with our butternut squash, you can see there. So I've let it be pressurized a little bit. You can see that this is allowing some steam to just roll out, which is good. That looks nice and blended. So we are gonna add it back to the saute pan. And then we're going to add our cheese at this point. And this is the eight ounces of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. The sharp, helping it give some extra flavor in there. We're gonna turn that on. Once you add your cheese and you're starting to melt it, you wanna make sure that you're constantly stirring it or it might scorch. And when you shred that cheese yourself, it's amazing how fast it does melt in there with that warm butternut squash and a little bit of that heat. While your butternut squash is cooking at home during that 10 minute saute with the garlic and the broth or the stock, you can cook your pasta at that time, prep a side salad, 
do whatever you need to do um, to just utilize that time that you have. Clean up the kitchen. All right, it looks like it's all melted and combined now. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, stir that in, and then we're gonna pour it over our pasta, and we're good. After that, you can serve it nice and warm or reheat it for another day. Okay, so I'm gonna switch pans here. Looks delicious. All right, here's what we have. Some healthy butternut squash macaroni and cheese. Thanks for watching and I hope this gives you some ideas about possibly some simple switches you could make to make a meal or even an appetizer side dish a little bit healthier. Add a lean protein, add some whole grains, add some fruits and vegetables in there. There's so many different options to just make those simple switches. Thanks for watching.